Ever swallowed a mouthful of ocean water and instantly regretted it? It tastes like liquid regret. But if rainwater is fresh and rivers flow into the ocean, why is the ocean salty but rivers aren't? And more importantly, what would happen if the ocean suddenly became fresh? Would it solve global water shortages or create a new disaster? Let's dive into the shocking truth behind this salty mystery. Where does salt in the ocean come from? First, let's get one thing straight. The ocean wasn't always salty. Billions of years ago, when Earth was still a chaotic rock floating in space, the first oceans formed from volcanic steam and asteroid impacts. This early water was fresh, just like rainwater today. So, where did all the salt come from? The short answer, rocks and time. Wait, what? Yes, the ocean is salty because of rocks. Here's how it works. One rainwater erodes rocks. Rain is slightly acidic because it absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, forming weak carbonic acid. When this rainwater hits rocks, it slowly dissolves minerals, including sodium and chloride, the two key ingredients of salt. Two rivers carry these minerals to the ocean. As rivers flow over land, they pick up these dissolved minerals and dump them into the ocean. But here's the twist. Rivers don't taste salty. Why? Because their salt concentration is too low to notice. 3. The ocean acts like a giant salt trap. When river water reaches the sea, the water evaporates under the sun, leaving the salt behind. Over millions of years, this process has turned the ocean into a massive salt storage tank. Here's something interesting. The amount of salt in all the world's oceans could cover the entire planet in a layer of salt over 500 feet thick. That's taller than the Statue of Liberty. And here's something crazier. Not all oceans have the same level of saltiness. The Dead Sea is almost 10 times saltier than the average ocean, while the Baltic Sea is much less salty due to the amount of fresh water flowing in. If you've ever floated effortlessly in the Dead Sea, now you know why. Why aren't rivers salty? If rivers carry salt to the ocean, why don't they taste salty too? The short answer, they don't hold on to salt long enough. Freshwater is always moving. Unlike the ocean, which is stagnant for millions of years, rivers constantly flow, flushing out minerals before they can build up to salty levels. Most river salts end up in the ocean. Even though rivers do have tiny amounts of salt, they're constantly refilled by rainwater, which keeps them fresh. Plants and soil filter out excess minerals. As river water moves through soil and rocks, many minerals get absorbed by plants or trapped in sediments, preventing the kind of salt buildup that happens in oceans. But here's a twist. Some rivers are salty. In extremely hot and dry regions, where water evaporates faster than it flows, rivers can become salty over time. The Colorado River and some rivers in Australia have naturally high salinity levels due to this process. What if the ocean suddenly became fresh water? Would it fix the world's water problems? Or would it create a bigger catastrophe? Here's what would happen. Most ocean life would die. Marine creatures are adapted to saltwater conditions. If oceans suddenly became fresh, their cells would explode due to osmotic shock. Rest in peace, seafood. Weather patterns would go crazy. The salt in the ocean regulates global weather by controlling ocean currents. Without salt, the Gulf Stream would shut down, leading to massive climate shifts, including a potential new ice age in Europe. Algae would take over. Salt controls the growth of many microorganisms. Without it, toxic algae blooms could explode, turning the ocean into a giant green slimy mess. So, no. Removing salt from the ocean wouldn't make life easier. It would make it a nightmare. Will the ocean keep getting saltier? You might think that if rivers keep dumping salt into the ocean one day, the ocean will be too salty for life. But here's the crazy part. The ocean has a built-in salt control system. Salt sinks to the ocean floor. Over time, excess salt forms solid deposits on the ocean bed, preventing salt levels from skyrocketing. Marine life helps balance salt levels. Many sea creatures use salt to build shells, removing some salt from the water. Tectonic activity recycles salt. Earth's crust absorbs some of the excess salt, keeping ocean salinity relatively stable over millions of years. Interestingly, some ancient oceans were even saltier than today. Over 250 million years ago before the dinosaurs, Earth's oceans had much higher salinity levels. So in a way, today's oceans are actually more balanced than they used to be. Here's something interesting. Did you know astronauts' tears don't fall in space? Instead, they form floating blobs of liquid because of microgravity. And yes, their sweat is technically saltier than the ocean. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Would you rather be stranded in the middle of the ocean or lost in the desert? Let me know in the comments. If you could remove all the salt from the ocean, would you do it? Why or why not? And if you love learning about the mysteries of the world, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to YX for more mind-blowing science. Turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. See you in the next video.